How much press are you worth? Okay. How much press are you worth? So I think there are a lot of biases that come through in reporting and uh, age, gender, race, uh, ethnicity, religion. There are a, a lot of frames uh, that tend to reflect those biases. You also see that uh, pretty consistently in the coverage of missing people. And missing white woman syndrome was coined in 2004 by the journalist Gwen Eiffel, who noticed that women, especially white women who went missing, got a lot more press coverage than everybody else. Anybody can go to the website and they can see how the media coverage would be if they went missing versus the rest of the country. So this isn't based on intuition, it's not based on an assumption, it's based on data pulled from news coverage. Oh my God. That's a lot. That's so much. Okay, it says I'm worth 67 news stories. That's a lot. You're worth five news stories. The press will barely cover your story. It's shocking, it's embarrassing, and already make me think, you know? You are worth eight news stories is what I'm saying. That's not many. I'm not surprised. 86% of Americans would hear about me. So a maximum of 34.2% of Americans would hear about me. Well, there are a lot of people that look like me that are not necessarily missed when they go missing. My message to the press is you're not performing journalism. This is malpractice. This isn't the way that journalism is supposed to be practiced. By forcing change in this area, we can force a broader change in media coverage. Everyone has value. Uh, everyone's life is worthy of our concern. Everyone is press worthy.